he landed near T Newport Road, Ireland, where he bought a plantation at Middletown, the famous Whitehall. Berkeley purchased several enslaved Africans. So today we're in Cloyne Cathedral, just outside Cork City and pretty near to Balgan village. Um, but we're inside because it is spilling rain outside. I've got wet and um, when we got here first, mass was being said. So we've waited and we've been told that we can film in here because there is some very, very interesting memorials in here and an effigy to a very famous man. So let's take a look. Beautiful carved angel there. says sacred to the memory of James Hingston, LLD, Vicar General of the Diocese of Cloyne and Rector and Vicar of the Parish. He passed away in 1840. So here is the burial place of the Smiths of Rat Corsi. Mary Smith, a daughter of Francis Smith of Rat Corsi. Um, at the age of three months, who departed this life on the 7th of May, 1675. A member of this family was one of the judges at the trial of King Charles I of England. So, that is amazing. Just three months old when she passed in 1675. This is beautiful as well. Sacred to the memory of the right Reverend William Bennett, D.D. For 26 years, Lord Bishop of the Diocese of Cloyne, a man of varied attainments, refined literary taste. And he passed away July 1820. Look at this, just up over the side entrance. It's quite hard to see from where I'm standing. I'll zoom in, isn't that gorgeous? The line and the unicorn there, with the crown up over it. Erected by his widow in memory of Paul Lawless Esquire, son of the late John Lawless Esquire of Woodview, Cloyne. He was 48 when he passed in 1865, shortly after his return from Queensland, where he had resided for 25 years. Wow, look at that. And that's an emu and a kangaroo. Wow. Look at that. Amazing. So just in behind there, we have Georgius Berkeley STP. So let's take a look inside. Now this man was Bishop of this cathedral 
Look at that line at his feet. The way to see this effigy is absolutely stunning. the detail. So this is the effigy of George Berkeley. As I said, he was Bishop of Cloyne, but he was also a philosopher. He was a Bishop of Cloyne here, this cathedral from 1734 to 1753. And he was without doubt the most famous of the illustrious line of the bishops. His reputation as a philosopher made Cloyne famous all over the world in North America. Berkeley is also remembered for his great work, both for the church and for education. He was one of the greatest thinkers of his time, but even so, he was content to devote the last 20 years of his life to Cloyne. He was a friend to all, regardless of class or creed. The monument here was actually erected in 1890. He was born in 1684 and died in 1753. That is beautiful. Look at the color of the marble. It's just stunning. So actually in 1709, Berkeley published his first major work, an essay towards a new theory of vision in which he discussed the limitations of human vision and advanced the theory that the proper objects of sight are not material objects, but light and color. I mean, this man is absolutely known worldwide. Now, he also argued against Isaac Newton's doctrine of absolute space, time and motion. interest in Berkeley's work actually increased after World War II because he tackled many of the issues of paramount interest to philosophy in the 20th century, such as the problems of perception, the difference between primary and secondary qualities, and the importance of language. In 1728, he married Anne Foster, or Forster, daughter of John Forster, Chief Justice of the Irish Common Pleas, and his first wife, Rebecca Monk. Um, he went to America on a salary of £100 per annum. He landed near T Newport Road, Ireland, where he bought a plantation at Middletown, the famous Whitehall. Berkeley purchased several enslaved Africans. He lived at the plantation while he waited for funds for his college to arrive. The funds, however, were not forthcoming. He and Anne had four children who survived infancy, Henry, George, William and Julia, and at least two other children who died in infancy. He was actually buried in Christ Church Cathedral, Oxford. So a lot of information there. And as I said, known worldwide, George Berkeley. And uh, you might know that there is actually a college named after him, Berkeley College. So very, very interesting there. And uh, Berkeley College is actually in America as well. So fascinating stuff. Um, this has actually caught my eye. Just over the top, we will see two skulls, one on either side. If I can zoom in enough. One there, 
and one here. Kind of spooky, really, because at the bottom we have a beautiful angel. And this is for Peter Wallace. A Pedre Wallace, maybe. Um, and there's a Macaria and Macartia there as well. It's actually, I think, in Latin, maybe. There's a Margaret at the bottom and a Katrina as well, so quite hard to read for me at least. And then this beautiful symbol of our Lord on the cross. Now, as I said, mass was going on when we arrived here. And we spoke to the Dean, a, a very, very nice lady, who let us stay here to video. So this is the main church. This is where they were saying mass, the organ was playing. I wish I could have shared the, um, the music with you. Look at that window. And uh, hopefully the rain has actually stopped. We might get a glimpse outside at the, the graveyard. So that is gorgeous as well. The choir would sit there, of course. And that fantastic organ. And then from here, we're looking back into the effigy of uh, George Berkeley. So let's hopefully uh, see that the rain has stopped and it's spilling rain, guys. Oh my goodness. So just outside the door that we came out of, you can see a face on the archway of the, the stone and another design here and one here another like a face as well so this dates back to the 14th hundreds would you believe so they are original to the church so yes it's raining but we're going to have um, a little walk around regardless beautiful tomb here Look at that, all overgrown. Some very old tombstones as well. Beautiful, kind of a pink marble here. Memory of Joshua, or is it Josiah? Patrick Wise, 1879, age 76, and of Anne Wise, his sister, 1884, aged 88 of is it Ross Tillen Castle? Wow. So we'll have to see if we can find um, a photograph of that castle. Look at that. Wow there is a lot of graves here actually but we'll take a walk anyway. Hopefully the, the rain won't get much heavier. Wow it's actually a stunning cathedral really pretty all those rails look at that completely covered in holly but you can see that they are actually trying to um clean up the area somewhat everything becomes so overgrown fast here in ireland i'm going to take a walk actually down this way then maybe come back around that way It might be easier kind of to stick to this route here. Wow, there's a lot of, you can see already, there's so much of that light and all over these headstones. The 
this looks almost new. Gerald Pringle, 1911 to 1967. James Pringle passed away in 2008 and Lana Pringle, 2016. We get a good view of the church at least here. Wow, it's beautiful. So it is extremely cold, extremely wet, and you can see from the trees that the wind is blowing. And some more nice rails down here. Another kind of a tomb. I don't see any inscription really on this one. Beautiful rails here as well. It's a nice headstone as well there now. I see age 66, 1908 there. Is it Maria Townsend and Thomas Townsend, 1898? So this area seems to be overgrown as well. Wow, there's actually a grave. Oh my goodness me. Oh my God, how do we always manage? Hello. I don't know whether you'll see. Hello. Oh, I wonder, is he all right? Taking shelter. Maybe just taking shelter, yeah. Oh, hello, it's okay. Oh, he's cute. We'll actually come back to make sure that he's okay in a little while. There's a headstone even in there. Won't be able to read it. Look at that for rails. All overgrown. Wow, oh, look at we have a lovely monument actually up there as well. Just see it there, peeping out of the the brambles. It actually does look like they are in the process of um, clearing back some of this areas, different areas. They're trying to do it maybe bit by bit. This is beautiful as well. It looks like a Maloney. Uh, to the memory of Mary... I'm not sure what that says. Daughter of, is a Reverend Klein. Wow, that's unusual there, look. It's almost like two question marks. 22, I think it's. Is a, it? Or is it like, it's like question mark? Why is it in a circle? It's 2-2. Two, two. Oh, age, yeah. Look at the fancy writing. To me, that looks like question marks, but actually through the camera, it does look like 22. Also, Ellen Maloney who died September 1914, age 48, and their mother, Mrs. Maloney, 1911. There would have been an effigy maybe there as well. Wow. So we'll get a look at the back of the church here as we walk around. Some magnificent headstones here. Mary Jane Lane, 1825. But look at that. And uh, see the tower there in the background. Have we any information on that? Was it part of the church maybe? Just a round tower. Just a round tower, but it probably would have had connections to the church. Stronghold, like a, I'd say. Yeah. Lookout Tower Stronghold. These are 2016 and then 1851 on the other one. So Timothy and Frank Ahern. So they're both Ahern families. But look at this, how many headstones are actually here wow I mean you just probably wouldn't be able to read a whole lot of those but it certainly gives you a good look at how large this area is and that tower and uh, another chest tomb completely overgrown wow Love those rope iron rails. Yeah, I love the rails. 
the designs on them little gates then some of them have to access the grave we'll have two wet feet Now look at this one, it's like just a chain link fence here. Timothy and John Hartnett, in loving memory of their father, Michael. I'd say that's a dove there on the headstone at the top. So anything from 1897, we have Margaret, Timothy, the above John, full family there listed on that headstone there. So we're just kind of getting up around the, the side of this beautiful cathedral now. Um, the rain has kind of started again and uh, there's not much we can do about that. Wow, it really is large, isn't it? I didn't realise how large it was. We have a little area just here. Ellen Harness Knee Quirk passed away, 1948. William Quirk Cloyne, 1928. And Francis O'Donovan, 2000, age 77. I wonder, are they, would they be all ashes maybe? Oh wow, look at this. Wow. What is that? That is strange, isn't it? It's kind of shaped like a cot. IHS wrote on it, there's a cross on it, but it's a cage with kind of like chicken wire on it. I wonder why that was placed there. That is very, very strange. I've never seen anything like that. Thomas is the name. Thomas. Very hard to read. There's a plaque there, all right. That is strange, isn't it? But we have almost made a complete circle around the cathedral. More beautiful rails there. John, it looks like. 1929 Longfield maybe is the the surname but I just did not realize that it was so huge we've lovely look at those like wild flowers the poppies and I love poppies one of my favorites after lilies that is beautiful just a little wild area. So pretty. So this here is the main entrance that we used coming in. More beautiful designs on this door. We actually have a plaque here to George Berkeley as well, 1684-1753. Thank God for his good, wise and gentle servant, George Berkeley, 1684. Served the church in Rhode Island, New England, 1728-31. Bishop of Cloyne, 1734-53. As a philosopher, he loved the truth. As an Irishman, he loved his native land. As a bishop, he tended his flock. As a man of God, he loved Cloyne. And just beside George, we have John Brinkley, 1763 to 1835, man of God, scholar of mathematics, astronomy, physics, botany, church history, 1783 to 1791, Cambridge, Caius, or Caius College, Cambridge, 1791, ordained Lincoln Cathedral, 1792, Andrews Professor of Astronomy, Trinity College, Dublin, First astronomer of the Royal, sorry, first astronomer royal for Ireland, director of Dunsink 
Observatory, 1822 to 1835, President of the Royal Irish Academy and Bishop of Cloyne, 1826 to 1835. The light of his intellect has departed, returning to the stars. And uh, if he was an astronomer, that kind of sums it up very well there. Right, so guys, from a very wet and windy cloyne here in Cork, uh, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button and hit the notification bell, and that will let you know when I upload my next video. But for now, take care, God bless, and I'll talk to you all soon.